Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it. Once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Studio Series. From the first Transformer movie, we have Barricade here. Alright, but before I get into this, this is for adult collectors only. This is not for kids. So if you're under the age of 13, it's time to go. Alright, so yeah, uh, I want to talk about Barricade for sure. Uh, pretty cool looking figure. Um... But before I get into this figure, I also want to do a real quick shout out to Paul Littlefield. I want to say yes. To Paul um, for hooking me up with this figure. Uh, he got this figure uh, before its actual official release date, and he was able to sell it to him anyway. He hooked me up with it. It is the Sentinel Prime figure right here from Dark of the Moon. And <laughs> I will be reviewing it soon. I'm not ready to review it just yet. Because uh, I'm trying to follow order now. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely a cool looking figure right here. And I do want to make a shout out again to Paul for hooking me up with this. And uh, yeah, <laughs> he is really cool. I can't wait to get to this guy. But right now we're doing Barricade. So, thank you Paul. Um, all right, man. Barricade. Of course, we come our, with our little... Yeah. Diorama. Booklet of instructions. And, uh, yeah, he looks, <laughs> he looks really short. Very long arms. A lot of rubber bands. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Is that it? Nope, I see you hiding in there. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right, let me see the back of this box real quick. So he just comes with this one weapon, which is like a spindly little deal here. A grinder of some sort. All right, let's see how you work. Okay, there's a bin there. I guess we can get a little more length on him if we straighten his legs up. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's better. So yeah, he's not as short as he seemed. And this will just plug on where. I'm not seeing the plug for this. It's just one of those deals where, like, he's, <laughs> he's got to transform or something to reveal that. I don't know, man. Looks like it should just wedge. I'm stumped again. This keeps on happening to me. <laughs> like I can't figure this shit out. It is it can't be that way because well maybe he holds on to it. Whoa, not like that. Is he holding on to this? Yeah, he is, man. He just squeezed the fucking... Come on, really? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> really? That was as simple as that. <laughs> so, yeah. 
That was real nice. All right, man. So, I mean, it is a pretty bulky weapon, though. But, uh... So this dude's like a police car. And a very nice looking police car. It looks... Yeah, it looks like a Dodge. Maybe... Maybe not. That might even be a Camaro. So... Yeah. Uh, pretty cool looking. Um... Shit. Kind of back heavy there. Barricade. Give you guys another close-up look of him. Now we got him all stretched out and put together with his weapon. Alright, so let's do some comparisons. Alright, my first comparison is going to be the Siege version of the Barricade. Alright, that looks pretty good, man. Yeah, that's not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so from the movie, uh, let's get him up to Megatron here. Megatron and Barricade. That's not bad. He's massive. All right, we'll just freaking do Bumblebee here. They size up pretty good together, both being Camaros. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's a pretty good size comparison. And as of now, I think that um, Barricade, he is, I know for sure, he's the last of the uh, studio's first Transformer movies that I have figures to do. I mean, I've got plenty more studio series, but he's the last of my Transformers, the first movie. So, anyways, you guys let me know what you guys think of this figure. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And as always, it's your boy Master Marvel Lady here doing the damn thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.